I think I always make films about the things that are the scariest for me to deal with. If I go like this, I don't see my fingers until there, then there, and then there. I went to this ophthalmologist and they basically were like, you have this very rare eye condition. You gradually get more and more blind. I feel like I'm just looking for guidance in how to be a blind artist. I remember waking up one morning, getting around the city. I really couldn't read subway stops. Obviously, I was really uh, terrified. When you first enter the idea that you're going to lose your sight, it feels like a terminal point, you know, that you're going to go to this place called blindness, and that's where you stay. But there is something on the other side. It's a different point of view. You know, I came out of the hospital. And my mother said, oh, sweetheart, we were so proud of your career. And I thought, what? What makes you think I'm not going to take pictures anymore? I think of it as uh, a restriction on my freedom. It can be enraging. But I do think that there are potential breakthroughs on the horizon. I am cautiously optimistic. Imagine a world of beauty. There's no litter. People don't look tired. Everybody looks the same as they always looked. How can I use my art form as a way of sharing what it is that I'm experiencing? Sometimes it's about the idea and about the imagination and how those things get put together to form vision.